Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you two quick tips on how to stop your lawnmower from leaking gas. And today I'll be showing you this on engines with a Honda style carburetor. I'll explain that more later on in the video. This will also apply to your pressure washer, rototiller, generator, and different equipment that has the type of carb that I will show you in this video. So first of all, what I mean by a Honda style carburetor is a carb like this with a bowl made of metal. And you'll have two 10 millimeter bolts here at the bottom of the carb. One's to keep the bowl on the carb. The other one is to drain the fuel out. And by the way, this carb over here comes from a Chinese generator. It's a copy of a Honda carburetor. And this one here goes on a GX160 or GX200 Honda engine. Again, this is a Honda clone carburetor. The same principle will apply if you do have an original Honda carburetor as well. And the same procedure will apply to some Briggs & Stratton carburetors today as well. Especially the ones with the flat bottomed bowl like this. And also some other Honda carburetor bowls like this. And you'll often find these types of carburetors on bigger generators like this as well. And on these very common lawnmower Honda engines. And even on the newer type GCV190 engines as well. And here's the mower I had in the intro of this video. This is a Kohler engine, but it does have a Honda style carburetor. And you're also going to find a lot of these carburetors on Champion outdoor equipment like generators. And this is a good video to bookmark today because you will find these carburetors on most outdoor power equipment. Now this easy repair today will cost you nothing. The only tools you will need is a small hammer, a good punch, the 10 millimeter wrench over here. If you don't have a good roll pin punch, you can use a socket or something like that. I will show you this in the video. So to get right to the point, the most common issue you will find on these carburetors is that they will leak fuel from underneath the carburetor bowl. Just like this generator over here, you can see I put a cardboard, there was fuel leaking. I did shut the fuel valve off to stop the leak. So the first of the two tips I'm going to give you today is to grab your 10 millimeter wrench. And what you want to do is to make sure that the drain plug over here is nice and tight. And you also want to make sure that the bolt here that holds the bolt to the carburetor is nice and snug as well. And you can see there's fuel leaking from there even though the valve is off. And what's going on with this carburetor is that the bolt underneath here has vibrated loose. So go underneath with your wrench. I'm using a ratcheting wrench today, makes it easy. And if you're lucky, that's the only issue you will have with your equipment. So this one is a bit loose, it's quite loose. And you wanna snug it, use common sense. You don't want to over tighten it. Also check the drain plug over here, which is a 10 millimeter as well. So it got snugged a little bit more. Now turn the valve back on again. And now you can double check to make sure there are no more leaks. Now if you leave a piece of cardboard like this after you've shut off the valve, if the carburetor is leaking, it will leave a telltale sign on the cardboard. If it's leaking excessively, put a container to grab the fuel. And you can also put another clean piece of cardboard. Leave your machine sitting for a while. If you come back and it's clean like this, you know you fixed the leak. And on your lawnmower, you will find a carburetor in this section of the engine. Just look underneath, you will see the two 10 millimeter bolts again. And just like I did on the generator, I will tighten up the bolts on this carburetor as well. They were getting a bit loose. Now this carburetor wasn't leaking yet, but it's something you should check every year. And again, use common sense when you tighten up the bolts on your carburetor like I showed you because in tip number two, I will show you what happens if you over tighten the bolts too much. Now, the major reason why you don't want to over tighten these bolts is because you don't want to strip the threads. Now, sometimes even if you don't over tighten it and you don't strip the threads, the carburetor will still leak. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you in tip number two. Now the second reason why your carburetor may leak fuel, and this is what I'm addressing here in tip number two and how to fix it. This part here of the bowl where the bowl nut goes on will start to get concave or work its way inside the bowl. And you'll notice here that the section of the bowl is protruding on the inside. And you'll see it's leaning downwards over here so it's not flush anymore. And even if you reinstall the bowl bolt with a proper washer, it's still going to be leaking fuel here even though you've got it torqued right. And here's where the problem happens when you go to reinstall a bowl that is damaged like that. 
you'll see that it's sitting on the part of the carb over here but the ball is not flush at the bottom here so you will end up with a leak over here and most often a leak over here as well and this can even happen on brand new carburetors i've seen it before so be careful if you buy cheap carburetors on amazon and ebay so if you run across this issue you don't need to throw away the ball i'll show you right now how to fix this and it won't cost you anything now what i generally use in my shop here to repair this is a good pin punch a good hammer you don't need a big one and if you don't have a pin punch sometimes a good socket that is approximately the size of the hole of the bowl will work and you'll need a nice flat surface that is solid and smooth you can use the part of your vise if you do have this section on it also you can use a good anvil or a nice solid metal table that is nice and flush now make sure to use your best pin punch you don't want the end to be damaged over here so to give you an example, the punch on the left here is a bit damaged, so I would not use that to repair the bowl. Preferably if you have a punch that is about the size of the hole or a bit bigger, it's better. Now this is a 3 8 pin punch. If you have a 7 16 it would be a little better because it would cover the hole better here. So now for the repair, grab your hammer, the pin punch, make sure the bowl is on a nice flat surface. And what you want to do is hammer it down. So this will bring the bottom of the bowl even again. And make sure the entire surface is nice and flat. It will generally take you less than 30 seconds to do this. And now if you look at the bottom of the bowl on the inside, it's nice and flush. And as well on the outside. Now before reinstalling a bowl, make sure everything is nice and clean. And I'll do it on this bowl here. It's a bit different, but the same procedure will apply. And you can apply the same procedure to this Briggs carburetor bowl as well. You can just lightly punch it down a bit. And that's all there is to it. Be a bit extra cautious with the Briggs bowls because they're made of aluminum. They do bend a lot easier. And you want to make sure when you punch it back flush that you do it evenly. You want a nice smooth surface. You don't want it to be all dented. If it's dented, you still might have a leak. And now that I've done that to the bowl that I showed you previously on this carburetor, you can see a small gap between the emulsion tube here and the bowl. So when you press down, it's doing a nice tight seal at the bottom of the carb. And there's still a nice small gap in here that allows you to tighten up the bolt and have the bowl sealing everywhere properly. Now, if you're a homeowner and you don't have the proper pin punch, like I said, you can use a socket. You can use the same size socket as the outer edge of the hole and you can just tap it. This will work just as well as the pin punches. However, if you have a small engine repair shop, you want to make sure you get yourself a good set of pin punches like these. And not to be forgotten, make sure you have a good gasket here on the bowl bolt. And here's the generator that I've tightened up the bolts. As you can see, there are no new leaks and the cardboard is nice and clean. Now, it may not always be this easy to fix a gas leak, but these are things you can try yourself first. They don't cost you anything to do. And in a lot of cases, it will cure the gas leak problem on your equipment. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to bookmark this video. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are in the video description and have yourselves a great day. Thank <laughs> you.